going everybody at YouTube um, I'm gonna do this quick I supposed to have uploaded this third uh, part to you know that one video I titled um, sometimes you have to sit back and let it burn I have to do this again because my phone is such a piece of fucking shit uh, my friend Carl was no longer in my life he, I, as I told you in another video, me, me, me and him were, were sharing a phone deal where he pays a certain amount and I would pay him back or something. And I am due for an upgrade and I don't know what the fuck happened to him. His sister went and fucking kidnapped him or something. This stupid cunt fucking dumb bitch. Hopefully Carl watches this video. Carl, if you do watch this video, I can't stand your sister. She's such a stupid cunt. Fuck her. So, my phone has a virus so bad to the point where it pushes my new content off or something. I don't know what happened. So, this is going to be the third video, too. But, um, I don't even know where I left off. This is the thing. That's why I don't like to do my videos over. I'm going to be sharing this right away. Um, those of you who are new to my channel, don't fret. Because I make tons of videos talking about this. And there's tons of profanity you so if you are under age 18 I advise you not to follow or subscribe whatever you call it on YouTube or um, if you've been watching me you know what I'm about you know I speak my mind so I'm an open book I'm not closed minded um, that probably has a lot to do with being bisexual as well because most people who are part of the LGBT community we don't hold nothing in we just let it all out um, as I was saying in part two, sometimes you have to just sit back and let the candle burn. I'm not talking about as far as magic goes. I'm talking about well, I'm talking about that as well. But I can tell you, I have a sibling who I don't get along with. He just constantly does nothing but walk all over my parents, and my parents just let everything. You know, they just let. And to me, I just think that's bullshit. You know. Matthew is a self-centered, selfish, uh, vindictive, vengeful piece of shit. And I know a lot of you are going to watch and say, that's your brother, and this and that. No, family, family, family my ass, okay? A lot of you watch this, you probably got brothers you get along with, sisters you get along with. That's cool with you, but I don't. And I made several vlogs about this before, and for some reason, you know, they didn't get posted right or something. I don't know. But sometimes, you know, you have to sit back and just do what you do, you know, cash your spell, just let it be the way it is. I get, I don't, I'm not as home as much anymore. I mean, I'll go home and stay two, three times out of the week and I'll come right back to work. I kind of live at work. I know that's weird. But think about back in the 70s, 80s, how people would have like those stores on the bottom, then the upper part of it was like a house. I don't know if they still have it, call it duplex or studio apartment. Yeah, think about people have though, you know. This is 2017, soon to be 2018, so those things don't exist. But um This is just a test of my fate. This is the universe showing me a test of my fate. Like motherfucker, you wanna be a witch, okay? So what I'm saying is people do things to you for a reason, just to see how strong or weak you really are. And I think that's what it is. He brought this girl over to my parents' house. And he know he brings her over here. This is the same bra. He brings my parents out all the time. To me, that's disrespectful. You're a grown man. You're taking a girl home and have to sneak in her into your parents' house. That's trashy. If you're a grown adult, you take her to a hotel room or something. So he's coming down the basement that day, and I'm packing my things or gathering my things from going out on a bike ride. Because I ride a bike. I don't drive. I ride a bike everywhere I go. You know, so it probably explains why I'm so in good shape. Not all that healthy. I eat a lot of junk and toxins. But um, he comes down. Okay. So he comes down the basement. He goes, "Oh, I'm bringing a girl over." Blah blah. I'm like, "Okay." My thing. First thing went in my mind, like, "Who cares?" I think mom and dad already knows about you bringing a chick over. He brought over before. So I think what he was doing that day was kind of like. Rubbing it in my face or something. Like, I want to tell you a lot of you people that I'm not strictly, I'm not really straight. I'm bi. But 
the same time, I'm not really into women in my life because I've had women several times. You don't show me affection, then you kind of you, you you know you you grow weary of that. Like I never had a boyfriend before. I want to try that. I know I like it because I've been in like little threesomes and whatnot, and little flings. I've been in that kind of stuff, but. I'm more of a female than a male. I'm not really, you know, I probably like the same things a lot of you women do, if not more, you know, like, I like growing my hair, I like putting on makeup. I'm not showing my face right now, because I look like crap, but, excuse me. customer but um i'm not really a lot of you probably going to watch this and listen to it and say well if you're by me you're in the women yeah but those times for me you know are, are kind of over those are dead times me hooking up with a chick that that's not going to ever happen i'm talking to a celebrity right now you know i i've been talking to her off and on on twitter for quite some time not going to say who she is but uh she's a very beautiful young lady very beautiful family oriented real strong woman. She's Italian. Um, I'm not going to give out her name. That's not right. But, um, and I've talked to her off and on about witchcraft and, you know, she tells me about what's what going on in her life in the past and I tell her the same thing about me. But, it's not going to happen. Me being straight, me hooking up with a chick ain't going to happen. So motherfuckers will say, oh, you need a girlfriend. And, no, I don't. I don't need shit. I don't need a girlfriend. I'm content. You know, have more to gain from me than I have gained from her because I'm not. Women do nothing for me. I'm sorry. You know, if it's not some fruit cake or sitting on my YouTube looking at some video or I was, you know, went hunting for ghosts in the graveyard, it's some other fruit cake is telling me about she wants to find Edward in a fucking forest and get all these fruit cakes. So women, they they make a joke about what reality is for them. You know, it's they don't do this to these straight men. These straight men don't get these treatments. I really wish the shit they do to me, they should do it to all these pedophiles and these perverts and these rapists. Because I'm going to tell you something, you're just wasting your time. I'm not really into it. I don't, it, it don't play. You know, me hooking up with a chick ain't going to ever happen. So I think that's what she was trying to do. Like, ha ha, bringing a chick on. You know, and he, I'm like, oh, okay. So I, I just played it like I was cool with it. I'm like, oh, all right, cool. So I moved my stuff. I went upstairs. He goes, well, you got to move your stuff. I'm like, no, I, I want to move my stuff. I don't know this fucking bra. So I took, I played it like I was cool with him. I went upstairs. I cooked my dinner, went about my business. And all the while, he's, don't tell on me anymore, sort of speak. I know you're going to tell my like, dude, I'm 35. You're like 30 yourself. So that's kid shit. You know, you tell mom and dad you got a chick off there. Wow. Apparently they know about it. So some tell me, look, just play cool with them. No, that doesn't mean you're, you are cool with them. But I want my parents to see who the real nigga is. I'm going to sit back. And they're starting to see Matthew is really a piece of piece of crap. You know, this sibling I have is a piece of shit. He doesn't care about nobody but himself. Now he has a little one. He has a kid. I have nothing against the little one. You know what I mean? Jacob, he's a child. He's a baby. But um, Matthew is just piece of shit. Like I said, I, a lot of you listeners watching this might say this sounds kind of cynical, but think about this. You have a sibling or a family member. Excuse me again. Fucking going in and out. Smoke break, smoke break, smoke break, smoke break. Every 15 seconds, cigarettes. Fucking disgusting. Anyway, um, think about this. This goes for any of you, whether you're a girl or a guy, you have a family member or, you know, whatever. It's only so many times you're going to keep taking shit from somebody, you know. At one point, you got to say, I got to defend myself. I don't care if it's a boyfriend. I don't care if it's a girlfriend. I don't care if it's an auntie and uncle. You can only take so much. And I'm going to literally get a lot of shit on these videos. People will sit there and say, that's your brother, though. That's your brother. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Unless you've put up with this kind of thing, you're not going to understand. 
I'm not going to keep taking shit and taking shit. And yeah, you're right. This is 2018 in another few months here. But with that being said, when you conditionally say that, that means I'm not going to keep taking shit from this family member. You know, he walks all over my parents. It's like, why did that thought back in my mind, cast my mind back and reiterate it? Like, why is he telling me he's letting some chick in here other than trying to start shit? You know, that's the only reason I can think of in my mind why he would do such a thing. Like, who cares? You bring a broad over. You've been bringing broads over. You know, mom and dad are practically scared of you. My parents are scared of their fucking son they brought in the world. Not me, but my siblings. They're scared of him. They have to hide stuff. They hide the food. Like, why the fuck are you guys hiding food from this motherfucker? This is your house, mom. But no, when I try to bring it to my mom's attention, oh, you're drunk, Donovan. You're high. No, I'm not drunk or high. I'm trying to tell you. So I'm done. I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to let them see that this math a piece of shit and does not care about anybody but himself. You know, I've had my hair pulled out. I've been, this is the same sibling I told you that pulled my hair out a year ago. It grew back since then, but still. I've had my stuff smashed up. I've been hitting the lip and nose. I'm sitting there bleeding. I tell the cops, and they took his side. And I'm the one with blood all over my fucking face. And stuff like that. So hell yeah, I believe in, if you have to cast a spell on a family member if you believe in that sort of thing well you do it and you mean it it's not oh i shouldn't have done it. it's a family member it does not matter it's only so much you can fucking take i mean how much are you going to take from somebody that'll be all that's all i'm saying you gotta sit back sometimes and you gotta let people see what the reality of a fucking monster really is and that's what's going on that's what's going on. And that's what I see. I don't see this. My mom is not going to ever change about this. My dad's not going to. I mean, it's not going to ever change. And I, I hate to say that, but even with family members, I don't care. Any of you to watch this girlfriend, boyfriend, husband don't matter. It's only so much shit you can take. You know, you got to put your foot down at one point and make a stand. You know, apology is not always the option somewhere, all the time. Not to me, at least. You know, so. That'll be all. I just wanted to get that out there and make the third part of this because my other video got is construed or something. If you have not subscribed, do so. Remember, stand up for yourself. You know, I don't care. A lot of you are probably not witches or whatever, but you got to stand up for yourself. And that's what I'm doing. This is just a universe giving me a test of my faith, showing me what this is really about. Like, dude, you know, it's, it's right there. You know, people are brainwashed, so they take his side over mine. Same thing with the, the couple was that I know over in Farmington Hills. Like, his wife does so much shit to me. And, and every time I try to defend myself and tell him she's wrong, he don't. That's his wife. You know, that's his wife. That's his wife. So I got to sit here and let her do what she wants. You know, Matthew's my supposed sibling. So I got to let him do what he wants. No, that's not the way it goes. You have to defend yourself. I don't care if you're a witch. I don't care if you're wicked, whatever. You. There's only so much you can. Therefore, sit back, let the candle burn. You know, grow away from witchcraft a little bit, but at the same time, remember that that's what you are. You have to defend yourself. That'll be all until next time. Later, stay you and be true.